Welcome, my name is Jonathan Schmidt and I will present our NURBS 2021 paper A Probabilistic State Space Model for Joint Inference from Differential Equations and Data. This is joint work with Nico Krämer and Philipp Hennig. We consider a setting in which, beside observed time series data, some prior knowledge about the mechanics of the underlying process is available. This knowledge often comes in the form of ordinary differential equations, or ODEs, that together with an initial value constitute an initial value problem of this form. Usually, the ODE is equipped with a set of parameters to make it more expressive. When it comes to combining both sources of knowledge, good parameters have to be found such that the ODE solution fits the observed data. To achieve this, often an outer loop is wrapped around a numerical integration algorithm that solves the ODE. This repetitive simulation entails significant computational cost. Our paper shows that acknowledging that computation can be phrased as probabilistic inference sheds light into the black box numerical algorithms and renders efficient synthesis of empirical and mechanistic knowledge possible. This graphical model represents a probabilistic ODE solver, which was established by Trona et al, Schubert et al and more. The process X models the dynamics of the ODE solution and its derivatives via linear Gaussian transitions. Z are observations of the deviation between the model derivative and the vector field evaluated at the solution model. The key point of all of this is that computation is phrased as Bayesian inference. Therefore, integrating empirical data into the process is simply another measurement model observing the solution wherever data is available. So far so good, but how is the mismatch between observed data and the assumed mechanistic system handled? After all, the world is not that simple. By introducing a latent force modeling time-varying parameters of the ODE, it is possible to pass information from the data to the parameters through the vector field and thus fit the ODE to data while solving it. Depending on data sparsity, we can then condition on the ODE's observations, on statistical data or on both. Let us finally see what this may look like in practice. A prime example of the described setting is the COVID-19 pandemic. There exist epidemiological SIR type models that are suited to describe such dynamics. The flowchart on the left shows the transition of individuals between the compartments susceptible, infected, recovered and deceased. This is guided by parameters beta, gamma and eta. Beta controls how quickly susceptible people get infected and thus can be loosely interpreted as a sort of contact rate. On the right you see the infected cases per 1000 people in Germany over one year. The goal is now to fit an SIRD model to the observed data and at the same time gain uncertain information about the contact rate beta over time. Here on top you see the posterior solution of the ODE. The model extrapolates without information from February onwards on the right. On the bottom, you see the inferred contact rate beta. It is uncertain in the beginning and contracts when the dynamics in the data exhibit informative behavior, as if, for example, around April. Over the summer, the uncertainty is high due to low case counts. Furthermore, it is possible to sample different realities from the posterior, which you see as the animated samples. To produce those results, no outer loop is required. Inference in the state space model shown before costs linear in the number of time steps. This model effectively blurs the lines between computational and statistical data and between mechanistic and empirical knowledge. Thank you very much.